Hey there, I'm Luke the Cooking Camper. This is Zena, she is the Glamper Camper. On today's menu, we're gonna be cooking a delicious, sweet, and sticky honey glazed teriyaki chicken. But before we get into that, we'd love to show you around our beautiful campsite. Our campsite is nestled within Mingus Mountain by Jerome, Arizona. Out here, Zena's been running around, we've been hammocking, and we've been enjoying the fantastic mountain views. Now let's go inside the cooking camper to start cooking. And now for the most important part of this recipe is a five ingredient spice mix. It totally takes this recipe over the top. Let me show you how I made it. First we're gonna start with a teaspoon of onion powder. Then we're gonna do a teaspoon of black sesame seeds. You can use the white ones if you'd like. I just like the black ones with this recipe. Then we're gonna do half a teaspoon of Thai basil, which adds nice earthiness. Then we're gonna do three quarters of a teaspoon of Amchor powder, which gives it a nice sour sweet tanginess. And we're gonna end with half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now one of the most important parts about cooking in a camper is prep work. Now here we have some prep work bowls for our teriyaki chicken. This is our sauce. This is three quarters of a cup of honey, preferably raw and unfiltered, with half a cup of low sodium soy sauce. Right here we have that spice mix we made earlier. Over here we have a cup and a quarter of cashews. These are roasted and unsalted. And here we have our thickening agent for the sauce. It's about six and a quarter teaspoons of cornstarch, and then we're gonna mix in a few teaspoons of low sodium soy sauce. Now later on, when we stir this into our dish, it'll really thicken up the sauce. Now for the bed of rice that our chicken is going to sit on, we're just gonna use two packets of microwave rice. We're not gonna cook them right now, we're just gonna rip them open and then we'll pop them in the microwave when the chicken is almost finished. Clearly Zena wants to smell what we're opening. Now before we start cooking, we just need to gather some tools. First, we need a large kitchen skillet. Then we need a pair of kitchen shears, some pretty sharp ones. And we need a large kitchen spoon that's rated for high heat. Now the first step of this recipe is gonna be taking our kitchen shears and slicing up our sliced chicken even smaller. Now this is one pound of sliced chicken breast. And then you'll just come in here and chop them up. Be careful not to get this little piece of paper in the bottom, but you don't have to take it out, it's okay. And you can chop these up as small or as large as you like. Now that we're ready to cook, we have all of our tools and our prep works done. We just need to turn on our generator since we do have an induction cooktop. Now some people do not have an induction and they have a gas burner, so you can just totally ignore this step. And my induction cooktop has a one through 10 heat setting, so I will turn it on and take it all the way up to a 10. Now what we're gonna do is our chicken that we chopped up earlier, we're just gonna pick that up and drop it right in. The induction does heat up very quickly, so you don't need to wait for the pan to get hot. And then we'll throw in our cashews. Now you'll just want to saute this until the chicken has almost no pink left. So now when most of the chicken pieces are white, but there still is a little bit of pink in there, you'll wanna throw in that spice mix and stir it around. Now the reason that we're putting this in now before the chicken is done is so that those spices get a chance to toast, especially those sesame seeds. And now the other reason that I'm cooking this on high is because when you're running on generator power, you wanna cook as quickly as possible. Wow, it's really starting to smell good in here with those spices. And now that the chicken is almost totally cooked, we're gonna turn the heat down to about a medium, and then we are going to dump in our soy sauce honey mixture. Now this is instantly gonna start bubbling and getting all sticky, sweet, and delicious. You wanna make sure to get every single drop of honey in there. That is what really gives it the good flavor. 
Now once you got that good, you're just going to stir it up for a little bit. Let those flavors kind of melt together. And now we are going to dump in our thickening. And this is our cornstarch with that extra soy sauce. Now this is what's really going to make this sauce thick and delicious. So we're just going to pop the rice into the microwave and it needs to go in for three minutes. So now that the sauce and the cornstarch is mixed through, we'll turn the heat all the way back up to high and we will bring this to a boil. And once everything comes to a boil, you need to continue to cook this for five to 10 minutes or until the chicken reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And here is the finished gooey delicious chicken mixture. Just look at how thick and dreamy that sauce is. And you know it's ready when you pull your spoon through and it doesn't immediately go back together. So now to finish preparing the rice, we're just going to dump them into two bowls and then we're gonna mix in two teaspoons of low sodium soy sauce for each bowl. Now this, I just kinda eyeball. You can put however much you'd like in there. Here's the second serving. Zena is eyeing this rice. She can't wait to eat. Now it's time to plate it. So you just scoop up however much chicken you want and just dump it over that delicious rice. Now you wanna make sure to get every drop of chicken, cashews, and sauce on this cause all of it together is absolutely dreamy, I'm telling ya. Well here is the final product and we cannot wait to eat it. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you liked it, we'd love it if you could give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We hope that you can get out and enjoy nature and food as much as we do.